Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Week 8, Paladins Console League matches. My name is Blue. I'm the cast today for you. And today we have only two matches. Uh, the one you're watching right now is Absolute Rain versus Vroom Vroom in the Xbox European Division. Fluxy with the Eminence Leon. Wild Card on Adrenaline Junkie Koga. Luminary Genos for Tapsy. Storm of Bullets Khan for Whitey. Crush Terminus for Sorrow. And over for the side of Vroom Vroom, we have Maelstrom Grok for Naiju. Trap No Victor for Valerian. Rampant Blooming Grover for Crawl. Leviathan Makoa for Legends. Four, Tinkering Barrett for Ninja Zen. Two, one. Those of you who noticed, yes, Naiju is playing the Flex 2 position, which means he will be the second DPS player now for the side of Vroom Vroom. As Legends has been moved to the Flex 1 or more commonly the off tank position. Very early on. Have some damage coming out. And interesting comps from the side of both teams here. Vroom Vroom with the double support. We have the Genos Luminary damage buff for the side of Absolute Rain. Nice hook coming in from Legends. They do have the Leon and the Khan, as well as the Koga to pair with that. Could be a deadly trio. Nice hook once again. Brings Sorrow in for the kill. Legends does find the last hit on that. But Koga now diving the back line. Trying to find some success. And he will get killed on the objective now. Now Naiju starting to zone some people out as they finish off Khan. And the first objective will be captured by the side of Vroom Vroom. Looks as if Spectator has been fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Don't know if you caught that, but said the correct name of the red team who captured the objective. Good to know for the viewer side. Sometimes it may be a little confusing. It was showing blue was capping both times, whether they did or not. Oh, another nice hook from Legends, not known as a tank player. But he's bringing out some big hooks today. Allowing his team to focus down priority targets. Terminus falls once again. Nice hook there on the Koga. Stall him out. Cyclone Strike will come through from Wildcard. Primarily a blaster player. 2018, he played frontline. Could be seen playing for bust down in phase one. He was playing that flex too. He was playing that damage grok if they needed it. Unless Ari Avin was there for them. Nice hook from... Legends once again on to Sorrow. Bring that term off of point. Sorrow, one of those guys who just loves to soak up point time. Always has a high objective count. Always contesting. Time now falling low. Puts up a shield. Barrack still alive. And that's what you get from him. A lot of damage, a lot of sustain. Especially when you have someone like a Genos able to help him. He has a lot of healing built in within to his kit. And this will be a successful push from the side of Vroom Vroom as they start this game off 2-0. to zero. Taking a look at maps. Absolute Rain did have first pick and map choice. They banned out Shattered Desert and Bright Marsh. Vroom Vroom banned Frog Isle and Ice Mines. Which was actually kind of interesting since we see Vroom Vroom pick Ice Mines and play it a few other times this phase already absolute rain taking first map choice here at jaguar falls let's go ahead and take a look at his loadout here since we were talking about the self-sustain you're able to have in there mixed with the damage one ability to live through fights forge down like alloy two fail safe three or even bold too. Healing Station 3, a little bit of extra healing since he has the Genos. A little bit of self healing. Koa looking for a hook, can't get it on the Genos. The Tempest will come out now from Naiju. Incredible week he had, first time playing damage this season. Nice ghost walk from him. Ancient Rage came out as well. Naiju Legends finds one. Helps clean up another. Cyclone Strike comes out. We'll find one onto Valerian. Wild card. Still one shot afterwards. Fails to get out. 
will fall. But it's four members of Absolute Rain here, and now they have a full squad with five. Hook doesn't connect once again. Whitey now, trying to find some damage onto Makoa using Makan. Does have the overpower available if they need it. They did use the Terminus reanimate, so they won't have that if they need it. 96% on the point for Vroom Vroom. 66% now. Oh, and the overpower missed. That's not what you need. And Naiju with a triple kill now. Will he be able to clean it up? Entire Vroom Vroom team now pushes up for the zone. As they're able to fight back off the back of Naiju's triple kill. Take control of that. He is leading in the damage charts as well. Victor right behind him. No damage boost from the Vroom Vroom, but Tempest comes out. That's movement speed for his teammates. Slow for the enemies. Enemy killing screen. A lot of healing coming out from the Grover so far. About 20k. A little under it. In front of that Genos. Trying to put out the heals onto multiple targets. Terminus not the best with that Genos heal in front of him, but... Building the right loadout could give you some self-sustain with that character as well. Overpower is available once again from Whitey. Uses the Battle Shout now. Does find the overpower on the Legends. That'll be a good play. A lot of space being created in the offlane from him. It looks like Vroom Vroom may have to back up here. Ninja Zen will fall. And Croft will just back up. As well as Valerian trying to. But Wild Card's on the chase. He will find the kill as well. Now a huge stagger from Valerian. Although no fault of his own. Trying to get away. Toga. A little bit better on the movement side of things to chase down that victor. Legends now with the Ancient Raids. Through time and space. Does connect for damage but no kills. Nice hook on the Fluxy. Able to finish him off. Toga one shot. Trying to find him is Legends. He does get found from the bounce off of the shock pulse from Naiju, though. Oh, nice shot from Croft with the axe. Put away Whitey before the commander's grab could fully go through. Luxy uses his grace to get right by the hook, but he dies instantly after. Tempest, Dome Shield, it's all coming out. Cyclone came out. Didn't find any kills. Hook, but he was already dead. Reanimate comes out now. Won't find much success. Prof, Naiju, Legends all finding kills now. Ten, Down to Terminus. He doesn't have reanimate and he is on the point. It is 3-0 here. Leon falls. And the hook off of the objective with just Koga alive. Looks like it will finish it off. And the Grover ultimate just to put the cherry on top as Vroom Vroom take game one 4-0. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game 2 now with Vroom Vroom having map choice. They have chosen to take Absolute Rain to Stone Keep here. Look at what we have. We have Naiju, Royal Subjects Bomb King. Trapnel Victor for Valerian. Le Le Leviathan Makoa for Legends. Rampant Blooming Grover for Croft. And Formidable Fernando for Ninja Zen. Luminary Genos for Tapsy. Blast Flower Willow for Fluxy, Storm of Bullets Khan for Whitey, Maelstrom Grok for Wildcard, and Tinkering Barrack for Sorrow. Five, Interesting four, choices coming three, out from the side two, of both teams. We have one. Fluxy on the side of Absolute Rain, who's been the DPS for Absolute Rain, or rather, instead of saying it many times, AR, so to speak. DPS, primarily the, the support player. So was Tapsy before Tapsy swapped to Frontline for Radiant Esports in Phase 1. First kill comes out from the side of Ninja Zen and Vroom Vroom. Legends finds a second one and a third one with Naiju hitting the last shot. Naiju now playing Bomb King. Fluxy now playing DPS. Tapsy back on support. Legends on Frontline. Things are getting shaken but not stirred. 
in the Xbox EU region all season long here in 2019. From from front heels now. Now fighting from behind is Absolute Rain once again. 80% in climbing on the objective for Vroom Vroom with a solid 0% for Absolute Rain. And they will finally touch point. We'll gather 3%. But the contest comes through from Fernando. Fernando, one of the champions. That is ch oh my goodness! Legends, what are you doing? Why haven't you played Makoa before? You are not a damage player, sir. A nice hook once again. He finds more utility on the front lines than he does the damage. A good Bomb King, a better Drogos, but holy moly, are his hooks, they hit different today, ladies and gentlemen. Interrupted my story. We're going to talk about how Fernando has gotten a little bit of a change in the newest patch. Overpower comes through, doesn't connect though. Sitting on the high ground now. A lot of people in the Xbox EU region believe Naiju is the better DPS. Legend is one of those players that dies quite often in games. The thought process was to put him on something with a lot more health. Less deaths, maybe. Didn't work out the first time as much as they had hoped. They still won the set, though. Against Bust Down last week. Fernando's getting a little bit of shield. Cooldown change. Shield cooldown reduced by three seconds, I believe. Better forward momentum after the dash as well. Here comes the King Bomb right onto Barrack. This is the first bomb and has to reload. That's not what you want to see. Willow now up top with Khan. That's Whitey. Bayflight's going to come out. Shield comes down from Ninja Zen. That could mean trouble. He's getting free fired on. But meanwhile, Tempest, the Hook, and Ancient Range all come out at once. Now Whitey, not able to tank a lot of that damage as he will take it to the face. Oh, he tried. I like that play right there. He tried to get a little sneaky pull down off the high ground. That would have worked out. It could have been devastating for that team. Valerian, the champion we've seen him play many times this phase already in this 2019 season. Waiting for Willow to stop shooting that way. Throws a nade out. Now he has Legends with him. And they get something going here. Legends Enemy trying to look for a hook. Doesn't connect. Shield goes up. From both sides now. Willow does fall. It's the heal, however. Playing with the Genos once again. Didn't work out for them in game one. Valerian able to take out Fluxy now. Payload a few feet away from going in. And Grok's in trouble. He has the line of sight. Nice hook to bring Barrack onto the high ground and off of the point. He gets bursted down. Whitey does find a kill on the Naiju, but the barrage comes through. This could be devastating. It takes out the Grok. That could be good enough. All they need to do is find the kill. On to Khan. Barrack now with the respawn. He will come out of spawn shortly, but it's not in time. Couldn't get there. Couldn't get off his mount. And Vroom Vroom now with a 2-0 lead here in game two. They were able to win game one 4-0 and not give up a single point. You look at the items coming out. Valerian with a record one. Naiju with record two. Legends with record two. All for a Khan and a Barrett combined. Bringing those shields down could prove inevitable death for the both of them. Khan relies on his shield, possibly for extra healing in his loadout behind that shield. Also to delay fights, keep himself alive. Five, Barrack four, has a shield three, on his rocket boots, two, most likely. One. Is effective here. Let's take a look at the damage charts. What do we have? Of course, Valerian out in front. The damage Grok, not too far behind. Seen a lot of damage Grok this season, and predominantly from the Xbox EU region. Ooh, and Sorrow with the King Bomb to his face. Won't survive that. Willow falls. Grenade. Can it find Genos? It does find some damage onto him, but not enough. And Naiju with the Quadra Kill on the BK. And we weren't even spectating his POV. I'm going to have to go back clip that one off the air for the highlight reel there. There you have it. Legends. Making a name for himself on the Makoa today as Naiju 
He got a name for himself on the DPS roll. Ancient Rage comes out, speaking of legends. Oh, and he's just gonna back up from that, cancel his ult, start charging the new one up. Nice hook! Oh my goodness, the hooks are connecting. And it is just not good news for Absolute Rain, as they are just getting Absolute Rained on by the duo of Legends and Naiju. Valerian, it's not his show this week. He leads the league in kills. Top three in damage total, but pff, it's all about the other guys this week. Two straight games now. We saw Naiju play some DPS in 2018's PCL on OTP. Maybe it was because the team wasn't seeing success anywhere. Maybe he just used the offseason to practice his DPS as much as possible. Luxie was able to find a kill. King Bomb is available. Don't see him using it just yet. Sorrow now trying to push into him. And what he can do. Go back up using the rocket boots. Valerian finds a double kill. Now Sorrow, the only one alive, backing up. Could prove dangerous. Fernando. A lot of people say they love the changes. Feels better. We're starting to see a lot of Fernandos on the Mixer PCL stream today as well. Oh, try to get a cheeky little fireball onto the Faith Flight Willow. She'll come out, get some damage out onto Fernando, and help take him down with the help of Whitey as well. Overpower finally connects. Oh, but he couldn't throw him off! A failed attempt. They still get the kill. It's a little tardy. But it could prove to work out in their favor with the stagger. As four members of Room Firm wait for the Makoa to come back for the group up. We have Grok and Sorrow, the Barrack, holding Flame. Whitey, Willow, holding Top. Archway. King Bomb's coming through here. Ooh, the Dome Shield was popped, but he gets killed anyways. Healing coming through. Naiju trying to get the kill onto the Grok, but he pops Tempest. Now Geno's in trouble as Naiju's going to dive that back line. Couldn't get the kill before he got back into spawn. But Whitey could go down here. Shield goes down. That's a lot of Wrecker in his face. Now he's getting dove on. Nice bomb to put a little bit of damage out to Willow before following up onto the con. With I just help. Nice hook on the Grok to finish. And a 4-0 from Vroom Vroom once again. Absolute rain still yet to score a single point. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game three, Absolute Rain map choice. They have chosen Serpent Beach. This is game three with Vroom Vroom leading two to zero in the series. Vroom Vroom not allowing Absolute Rain to take a single point as well. Dominating fashion from the side of Vroom Vroom. Last time these two teams met was actually Absolute Rain's first time in the league. They replaced the old effect. Took him to four games, so we could see that again with a little bit more practice behind the Absolute Rain squad. But Burst Mode Victor for Fluxy. Mortal Reach Sarahs for Tapsy. Storm Bullets Con for Whitey. Adrenaline Junkie Koga for Wildcard. Five, Tinkering Barrett for Ninja Zen. Three, Leviathan Makoa two, for Legends. One, Eminence Leon for Valerian. No Croft with a Rampant Blooming Grover. An opportunity in Chaos Vivian for Naiju. And it will be a Mother's Grace and Nara for Sorrow. Leon Barrick and Sorrow both go into point. Ninja's end falling low, but he does have his boots available if he needs them. There they go. Now he'll start to back out, but Koga's right on his trail. Tapsy does end up falling to Valerian early on. Now Wildcard falling low has to get out. Sorrow trying to line of sight for a heal. Out of combat since Tapsy is not back just yet. Larian, a lot of Vivian, a lot of Leon. Nice hook from Legends. Whitey playing Khan all three games so far, as well as Makoa being played. Nice shot. Legends playing Makoa all series long, and that hook on the left side. 
looking for some more. Vivian falls low. Will end up falling to Fluxy. Now most of the damage being diverted towards Inara, but Whitey on the left side here in the off lane could make something happen. Nice shots onto Koga. Now looking towards Whitey. Has his frontline Makoa there as well as the Grover now. Eric will start to need those heals to come in. Falling low is Leon, but the ult comes out. Doesn't connect it with anyone. Now Rampant Blooming. Excuse me, Blossom. Oh my goodness. Whirlwind. I'm on another level today, ladies and gentlemen. Barrage will come out, but he will die as soon as he brings out the Noculars. Full circle. Koga falling low. Looking to get out, but he has Vivian and a Makoa in his face. Now Vivian with the double kill. Sentinels will come out as they have captured the objective and they are on the full assault right now. Looking to close this game out. Possibly go up 2-0 here once again for the third straight time. Hook no good. Little to the left. Now firing down onto Inara. Inara falls. Now Koga trying to work this right side. Legend's doing a great job running the off lane along with Naiju or Valerian. Whoever's there with them, they're able to get picks. Fast and efficiently. With the Makoa, I heard a hook come through. They were able to find the kill on a Fluxy. Fluxy! We've only seen him play DPS here and there a few times in the actual PCL. And that was last season in 2018 when he played Kinesa a few times. He was the substitute one. And two, he was listed as a support. The supports Tapsy now trying to put some damage out. Has three stacks on Valerian. He has no one there to contest point. That's not good because they're looking to push this one in. Koga falls low. The cart is a complete push. 2 0 now. Verm from out in front here in game three. And two points away from closing out the series here in week eight. The Xbox European PCL. They have not allowed a single point. Side of absolute. If you're asking, what is this? Hey guys, those new Capture skins. In 15 seconds. Battle pack. Looking good. Ruckus. Been getting another skin. If he hasn't gotten one since Five, Battle four, Pass, where he had three, the two, red one. and gold and the robotic one, not the Star Slayer one, of course. Newest one before that. Dates all the way back to pre-Valencia times. Can he get the hook? Yes, he can. Couldn't get his Ancient Rage out in time. Wildcard did find the last hit onto Makoa. Now 3% for both sides. Barrett tries to sustain himself. He will shortly fall. And now Sorrow holds his position on the objective. Now some objective time being gathered here by Absolute Rain. Nice hook on the wild card, and then he gets hit with the crippling axe. Nice combo there from the team of Vroom Vroom. Able to focus down that Koga. He wasn't able to get rid of that axe. Crippling axe onto Anara doesn't seem like it would do anything. No movement abilities from her. Enemy rampage. Naiju Valerian both find kills. One apiece. 97% on the objective for Vroom Vroom, and it looks like they may be able to hold here from Vroom. Looking to zone out. Overpower comes out, and it does connect. They're able to burst down Croft. Luxie getting the credit for that kill. Now moving back in. Cyclone Strike on the left side. Whitey with a double kill. Wild, or, wild card find a kill on the Naiju. I think the Cyclone Strike would be able to finish that out, but it did. Luxie getting a little bit of healing from the side of Whitey. The battle shout. Off to the rest of Vroom Vroom looking to regroup. Now they are on the defensive side of things. First point being scored by Absolute Rain this series, as well as this game. A little bit late on that hook. 
Gogo already hit the dash. Can climb up the walls to get back up there, as which he is doing just that right now. Hook misses once again, and now Koga has the upper hand. So, crippling axe. Just try to find its way there, and he'll have to back up once again. Climbs back up. Oh, and that's not good. Cyclone Strike comes through. Can he find a kill? But Whirlwind came out as well. Won't be able to out damage that as the Cyclone Strike will end and Koga will back up. Wild card. Almost not in the PCL in Phase 2. Played for Bust Down. A little bit of a rocky Phase 1 for him. Both play-wise and team-wise. They weren't feeling the mojo with him in the lineup. They brought back Paradago, who did play week one for them in phase one. Gonna bust down a little bit of on a down ball. They lose yet again. Time in three to zero fashion by Cyclone. Room from wins this. That could put them in second place. Move bust down down to third. Nice hook. Luxy, can he get out of this? Does have the heal there with him. Ooh, but Ninja Zen gets in his face with the barrack. You do have Whirlwind available as well as three other alts being Enlightenment, Ancient Rage, and Dome Shield. Sentinels are very close as well as he already has some up. They basically have five alts available. Six. Vivian were to die. She will Ten, have it. Nine, Ten seconds eight, remaining. The overtime will seven, start to tick. Six, Not sure five, if they'll be able to get a four, touch in. Three, Sorrow may two, be able to try and push one. for this. Looks like he will. Will get the touch, but he falls low. Dangerous territory. He's going to have to back up very soon. Overpower is available for Khan as well as the convergence. The barrage. 77% on that Cyclone Strike. It did change a little bit in the patch as well. Feels a little bit better. Nigel and Valerian both find a kill apiece in that end round animation. 3 to 1 now. Look at the damage charts 91k from the 90k from the Vivian. Victor and Koga down there at third and fourth. Con below Barrack. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Imagine Genos was banned here. Team. <laughs> Ash lines. Last time. Five. Perhaps he said at 0 and 5. Three, two, two rounds. One. And 7 for Starro. 2 and 4 for Fluxy on the Victor. Some consoles. Play. Larian 10 and 1. Naiju 8 and 2. Not too shabby for either side. Dome Shield does get used here on the objective. Taro staying outside of it. Nice hook on the Koga. He is able to get away. Ancient Rage now coming out. Looking for Khan. Tapsy's there as well, but he doesn't want to go for it. So back up. Like he was trying to go towards Koga for the help with his team. He had already died. On comes back. They're able to find the kill on the Makoa. Whitey with a double kill now. Taking out both tanks. Overpower is still available. Barrage was used. Cyclone Strike was used as well as Convergence. We have Seismic Crash. All alts out of the way for Vroom Vroom as well. Oh, and it looks like Fluxy might have crashed there. Don't know what that was, but he was. Looks like he was standing still. Seismic crash comes through. Ninja Zen gets stunned. Whitey does end up falling as that came out. Not looking good for the side of Absolute Rain as Tapsy all alone will have to shadow travel. Hide here. You're mine. Overpower comes out. It is connected. Ninja Zen in the grasp of Khan. Won't die until after the let go happens. 
Legends now having to play that main tank since Varric is gone. 99% on the objective for both teams. Gonna have to touch the objective and push here. There's four members staring at him. Whirlwind comes out now, but he gets bursted down. Grover will touch for the contest, but he falls just as quickly when the slow comes out from Inara. An absolute rain with their second point on the board are able to capture once again. We will see another round. Whether they push this in or not. If they do convert the payload, be tied 3-3. If not, 3-2 in favor of Vroom Froom, who has to win on defense now. Or excuse me, on capture, not able to win on defense. Makoa holding top right once again on that platform. Goga trying to push it. Might have changed his mind there for a second, but Wildcard's going to go right into him. Does not have Cyclone Strike. No energy. Ember doesn't have cooldowns, but instead has an energy bar. Running Adrenaline Junkie, though. Restores it. Hits. Successful hits. His weapons will grant him cash back on the energy. Try to dive in now. I believe Victor tried to use his ult, got a few out. Find one kill on a Naiju. They killed each other. Cyclone Strike will come out. Can it find Grover? No! He's gonna have to get out of there. Seismic Crash comes through on a Ninja Zen. Wild card falls. Ninja Zen still alive. Will pop the dome shield here. This could be enough to hold them off. Although there is 50 seconds remaining, about 55 actually. Whitey falling low, but using his shield and the wall to line his sight, he ends up falling to Naiju though, who is on the high ground above him. Hook comes through. Zara now playing mid. They are without one member, two members now. Like Victor may die here or not, he will get away. There's though in trouble, will fall. Luxie's still in trouble. Finally falls. Naju find that found that kill on the Tapsy. Oga waiting patiently, seeing if they will push this. Seconds remaining. Ten, Larian was ten nine, and one at the start of this eight, round, now ten and four. Seven, no six, kills coming his five, way so far. Four, three, two, on a couple of one. assists, three deaths as well. Looks like in overtime there will be one more push coming from the side of Absolute Rain. Legends is low. They could dive that, but they do have Vivian holding that top staircase. It would have rained down on them if they try to make a way advance through that wall. Naiju now getting aggressive. Will get picked up by the commander's grab, but not... Killed. A successful defense from Vroom Vroom. Asara will back up, but he will die after extra time. Vivian now on top of the damage charge. Way out in front as Victor has surpassed Leon to take second. Oga dropping down a little bit. Got two spots to be exact. On still about 13k behind the barricade. Interesting stuff coming out Capture from point in Ninja Zen seconds. on that main front line for Vroom Vroom. Up from the stairs as well. Typical. On Mortal Reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Way out in front of the 10k per minute as well. There's pretty... A lot of cauterizers coming out from the side of Vroom Vroom, as well as Absolute Rain. Nice hook, but they're not able to find the kill onto the Koga. He will escape. Whirlwind comes out on the objective. Overpower on the Naiju. They're able to find that kill. Now Ancient Rage getting used as he was falling low. Tries to get the hook on the Koga, but it's unsuccessful. They'll start to back up here. Trying to save Leon with the shield. Cyclone Strike comes out, however, that could take down Valerian, and it does. Not, a, not until after Valerian found a kill on the Fluxy himself. Even trade out, if you ask me. Now Ninja's then backing up off of point. From 63% from on the objective to 
17% for Absolute Rain and climbing. Nice hook from Legends as they're able to find the kill with the help of Croft. Vivian is there as well. This could be a devastating push from the back line as Whitey and Koga both turned around. They don't know. Seismic Crash was trying to come through, but she dies. And now the point has been cleared. Koga falling low finally will die. And Vivian trying to get some dismounts out as 96-99. And that is the game 4-2 in favor of Vroom Vroom who take the series 3-0. to zero.